San Cárdenas Motors for the fourth year of donating a car that will be won through a lottery raffle for one of our students, lucky students today. These students who are here with us today have had significant attendance, meaning that they come to school every day, and that's a plus. The more they come to school, the more chances they have at winning this car. Uh, first, uh, let's give a round of applause to Cardenas Motors for hosting us. Normally we start with all the introductions, but I think um, this is a big deal for everybody who supports this event. So before I introduce uh, uh, the special guest today, I would like to thank the uh, uh, Pace Early College Drumline Woo! under the direction of Michael Segura. I would like to thank the representatives from Patillo Brown and Hill LLP, who are supervising today's drawing. Uh, if you can raise your hand so that we know who you are. Very good. Thank you. We also want to thank um, Artemio Alvarez. Um, and this is the improved order of the Red Men for providing the machine for today's drawing. Is Artemio here? Thank you. And of course, the, uh, the biggest biggest thanks is to Cardenas Motors that for four years have consistently partnered with BISD to support our students and the good causes of attendance. So let's give them a round of applause. I would like to introduce uh, the Cardenas family that is here, especially starting with Mrs. Cardenas. And her children. If you could raise your hand, all the family, Cardenas family. I know there's several here. And we're going to have uh, Renee Cardenas come up and introduce you personally and speak about you. Uh, this past a few months, uh, we had the passing of Mr. Renato Cardenas, who was always a person who would sit here and watch. Uh, last year he was here, the year before, and always said, at least a few times that I spoke to him here, said, we want to support the community and we want to give back. And that's what I share with my children, to give back. And that's what he would say. And so for that, I would like to ask all of us to, to please uh, spend a moment of silence in his memory and appreciation of all his efforts. Thank you. I know he's watching us and watching to make sure everything happens well here. So uh, thank you so much. I, I would like to say that the students who are present here today are graduates of the class of 2017 from BISD Early College High Schools. So I like to have our students just stand and get another round of applause. Good luck to them, but I want to tell them that all of them are winners because they have chosen school uh, to be very important to them. And because of their attendance, they are here. So I want to thank them and wish them best of luck today because one of them is going to be winning a brand new car. And that is special. The students who are here were enrolled in BISD on or before October 28, 2016 until the last day of instruction, June 6, 2017. They have had no violations of the student code of conduct that resulted in the removal from his or her instructional setting. And they have had perfect attendance for at least one six weeks period for the 2016-17 instructional year. So thank you for being in school learning. Appreciate that.
I would like to thank uh, Mr. Cardenas, who will be asked to come up uh, shortly. But before we do that, I need to bring in, because this is an official event, and we have to follow certain rules to make sure we fall under all the guidelines of the state education code. Um, but I, I do have also several BISD people, and I have one of my board members here who also is supervising to make sure that we do everything right. Ms. Minerva Peña is here. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you. I know that the rest of the board members were not able to be here today, but uh, thank you, Ms. Peña, for being here. We also have BISD staff. If you're a BISD staff member, would you please raise your hand? Thank you. And we also have uh, Cardenas Motor staff. If you are here, please raise your hand. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to ask Mr. Lorenzo Sanchez, our CFO, interim CFO, to come up and give us the contest guidelines and procedures. Thank you, Dr. Sendejas. I believe you have already sort of outlined some of them, but I'll go ahead and repeat them again. Uh, number one is they have to be graduates of uh, the class of 2017 BISD, early college high schools. Uh, were enrolled in BISD on or before October 28, uh, 2016, until the last day of instruction, June 16, 2017. Had no violations of the student code of conduct that resulted in a removal from his or her instructional setting, and had a perfect attendance for at least one six weeks uh, period in 2016-17 instructional year. Good luck to all of you, and I went around and and I explained to the students that when I was shaking their hands, I already know who the winner is by, by how I felt their hands. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Mr. Sanchez, I know you don't fib about numbers, okay? <laughs> I, uh, before we also go on and give some remarks, oh, and by the way, they're setting the keys here, um, the gentleman representing Patillo, Brown, and Hill uh, setting four keys, which means four students will be selected, and one of these keys opens the card. I'm sorry, we, you know, this is, uh, we changed it up a little bit because we gotta add suspense. We gotta add suspense to the process, okay? And I think this is great, but as far as, uh, <laughs> As far as we're concerned, all the students are winners. Uh, I also like to ask the high school principals uh, to please stand up. And if you're a high school principal from a school and you're not going to be a high school principal next year, please stand up also. All the high school principals, please. Thank you. And we have some in, in the back too. Uh, high school principals play a big role in our school district, and as I've always said, I acknowledge them because because of them our schools are doing such a great job, and we want to thank them for being here. I would also like to, um, Ms. Rosemary Cardenas, which uh, her son will also uh, introduce, but she is here with us. Um, Ms. Cardenas is a mom to a wonderful family, and she's steadfast about supporting public education and has always had a long trajectory of being out in the community and supporting um, public education from pre-K all the way to uh, college. So I want to present her with some flowers because of her kindness and support. I also 
want to say um, I think it is a great opportunity to thank somebody who's been behind the scenes about Cardenas Motors, and that's Drew Brown. Where's Drew? Drew, come on up. type person and that's what makes a great public relations officer for the district. But Drew announced last week that she's leaving at the end of the day today. After 40 some? We don't need to talk about After uh, uh, many decades, four decades or so. <laughs> and, uh, I think uh, a better way to say it is uh, she served the district the square root of 25 times 8, okay? And close to that. It's getting worse and worse. <laughs> but Ms. Brown has been um, instrumental in making sure things happen like clockwork, making sure that everybody's in their place when they need to be. I don't know if some of you watch, but she made sure all the media was interviewing outside. Uh, she quieted down the drum line and those things that sometimes you don't realize when you're doing a, uh, an interview for television. So she's done a wonderful job and I want her to publicly hear to know that we appreciate her many years of service, her dedication and her ways with BISD to engage community partners such as Cardenas Motors and, and now we're here and we thank you uh, for all your work. Let's give her a round of applause. And so uh, my comments today are again uh, very appreciative, very, very proud of a business partner that we have with uh, Cardenas Motors. In every city, I've been in, in several superintendencies and and I can tell you that uh, this is not a big city. And big cities uh, engage a lot more because they have big businesses. So when I was in Indianapolis, we had major businesses. We had uh, headquarters for a major area of Chase Bank. Uh, we had headquarters for a lot of the maquiladoras in Indiana. Uh, we had headquarters for a pharmaceutical company, Eli Lilly and uh, they come out big time to support public education. Um, you're talking about a city of more than a million uh, in population, but with major businesses. Brownsville, as you know, is probably a city under 150,000. Um, with smaller businesses, it's a smaller market, but yet we have some businesses that come out and support us as if we were a big market. And one of those businesses is Cardenas Motors, who donate for the last four years a brand new car to one of our lucky students. And so I want to thank them uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, on behalf of the students of Brownsville. Because uh, Mr. Cardenas, as you always have said, this is about the kids. And we do things because of the kids. And our work is because of the students. And we're, as employees of the district, we're here because of the students. So I, I want to thank you for carrying that uh, um, mission of doing things on behalf of students and giving back to the community. And um, um, we are very appreciative of what your fathers and mothers started here. And now you're taking on the lead and continue to support BISD. And, and trust me, Everybody knows how much we appreciate you all. Okay, thank you. Let's give a rousing applause to Mr. Rene Cardenas, owner of Cardenas Mazda. I'd like to thank everybody over here that came out today and, and this is the fourth year that we do this 
Uh, we changed it up two years ago because when we first started, it was any high school kid. It could be a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. So two years ago, uh, we changed it up so only for seniors. And we were fortunate enough the first two years that a senior won. So everything worked out. And, and the reason that we do that is to give the underclassmen an opportunity to see if they stay in school what can happen because the most important thing is your education and Drew Brown I want to thank you very much for everything and we're deeply going to miss you you know and uh, so. I'm not going to go around the room and recognize uh, the everybody that's here because Dr. Sendekas has already pretty much done that but uh, my sister's here uh, Dr. Hagen, right over there. <laughs> my sister, Reba Cardenas McNair, over here sitting next to my mother. And of course, my mother right there, who was instrumental in bringing the University of Texas Brownville to this community. <laughs> And, and like every organization, you know, BISD has Drew Brown, well, Cardinals Motors has Andy Hagen, and he's right over there. And, and, and one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, address the students behind us, and whether you all realize it or not, you are our leaders, because you lead by example. So you set it in every one of your campuses, every one of your high schools that you go to, you're setting the example for the underclassmen. And you have choices in life. You have choices to be mean, you have choices to be nice, you have choices to study, you have choice not to study, and you had a choice to wake up in the morning and go to school or not wake up in the morning and go to school. And you chose to wake up in the morning and go to school. And throughout life, you're going to have those choices. But those are choices that you have, every one of y'all. And your parents' only obligation to you is to feed you, clothe you, educate you, teach you the values and morals right from wrong. And in my book, I think they've done a pretty good job. You know. it, it's amazing because I know your parents look at you all and they say, well, how time flies, because it was just the other day that they were dropping you off at kindergarten, and who would have thought, you know, 18 years later, you'd be sitting over here with an opportunity to win a car. That was the furthest thing from their head. But for all you that don't know, I was a high school basketball coach here in the Valley for 20 years, and I haven't coached probably in over 10 years. But one of the things as a coach that you can't coach is heart, desire, and competitiveness. Because all those three things have to come from within. And every one of y'all here you students behind me, and you underclassmen, you cheerleaders, and everybody, all you students that are here at BISD, you have to believe and you have to dream. And never stop dreaming because one of your dreams will come true. And you have a, an assistant superintendent, Terry Alacon, who is from Brownsville, and she's a prime example of what you can become. And if you dream and you work hard, what you can accomplish. And if you look, she's here giving back to the community. And I can point out Joe Pedraza, I can point out Randy Parks, I can point out other people here that are with BISD that have come back to give back to the community. And never forget your roots. And over the years, I've come to realize that 
time flies, it just goes by so fast. Memories are passed down generation to generation. But your family is forever. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Hey, Lorenzo, can you tell us which one's the winner? <laughs> Thank you all very much. Talk to the Mr. Cardenas, thank you for your kind words, inspiring and motivating, and, and hope that uh, the students take heart at what you said. I would also like to um, acknowledge the cheerleaders from all the high schools that are here. Let's hear it for the cheerleaders. Now, that, that sounded like middle school cheerleaders. Let's hear it for the high school cheerleaders. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All our high schools are represented, so we're, we're very happy. So we're ready to, to go. Uh, could you come and explain what's going to happen next? Hello, everybody. Well, I'm going to be pressing a button. It's called the uh, lower in it, and uh, the ball's going to come up, and then I'm going to show it to, uh, to everybody in the public, and apparently it's going to come out of the screen as well. Okay. So everybody can see you, uh, what's the number. So you're going to pull four of them? Uh, 14. 14. 14. Yes. No, you're going to pull oh, four. Oh, four only. Four. Four. Yeah, my bad. I'm yes. sorry about that. You want to buy the other one? Yeah. Can you buy the chance to win the car? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to win the car, but he doesn't qualify. <laughs> so four numbers are going to be selected. And, and again, the students, when their number is selected, I'm going to have them come up here and they get to choose a key. Once the four number, number four is selected, we don't have no more keys, which means that one of those four students holds the key to a brand new Cardenas Mazda car. Okay? And then we're going to uh, orderly we're going to have all the cheerleaders probably go behind the car by the, by the bus um, and we're going to walk outside and we're going to line the four students, okay? Now, student number one may open and that may be the key. So the other three students know that they didn't win. Or it might be student number two or student number three or student number four or nobody wins that car. <laughs> that means somebody made a mistake and they put the right key. But I, I don't think that happens here at Carolina Flores. So. <laughs> and, and Drew asked me to make sure that I explain to everybody because uh, what we want to do is make sure we go out here and do this uh, right so that everybody can see. Okay? And we want to take some pictures probably before the students uh, open up. We're going to take pictures with all four students, with the Cardenas family, uh, district officials, and then we will start by letting them each try uh, and open the car. Okay? So are we ready to roll the four numbers? Yes. Okay, let's start with uh, student number one. And the number is, you want to come over here and bring it, five. Who's number five? <laughs> Ashley Cervantes from Hannah High School. <laughs> and it's a number five. You can't reverse it to a different number. It's number five. Okay. So, uh, we're ready for the next number. Number 13. 
Moisés Coronado Rivera High School. Okay, the number 13, it's not a 31, okay, it's 13. It does look, it could be a 31 of your... Okay, two more keys left. Next number. Number two. Antonio Calderón Sánchez from Porter High School. And before we go to the next number, let's give again all of our students a round of applause. Our final number. Number three. Uh, from what school? Bex. Destiny Mercado from Bex. So if we can have all all the students, um, and let's have the cheerleaders go first to towards the back of the car right in front of our school bus. This is our fourth year to be giving away a vehicle to a well-deserved student. We're here to support our school system, BISD, but remember this is like a, it's like a stool. It's a four-legged stool. It takes the parents, a commitment on the part of the school district and their the teachers, as well as the student and the business community at large to ensure that we're safeguarding and in, 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 uh, in actually guaranteeing the future of our youth because they're going to be our future leaders in this community. The reason we do this for the community is, is we want to try to help out the community and, and give the underclassmen an opportunity. If they, if they stay in school, there's an opportunity that with perfect attendance, they can win an automobile by the time they're seniors and they graduate. Our family has been doing this for you know 50 years, giving back to the community, and it's it's up to us to continue the legacy and give back to the community that has supported the Cardenas families for so many years. We are here to share this proud moment with Antonio Calderon Sanchez from Porter High School, with a, a perfect attendance initiative where they can come out and have a drawing to have a car of their own, fully paid for, with the compliments of Cardenas Motors. We thank them from the bottom of our hearts because we couldn't do this without them, and we are so excited because this student now has a brand new car to start his college career with and it is a blessing and I thank God that he was able to win this and I ask that God give him favor in everything he do in his studies in his new cars to stay new to take care of it and to go out and explore the world. We are so thankful to Gardenas Motors for their continuous support in not only today's incredible celebration but throughout the years together BISD partnering with our community and with businesses such as Gardenas we're able to do bigger and greater things for our students. I know that uh, our, we have a lot of students that could benefit from a car and and uh, I know that, uh, that Antonio will be a very good representative. Uh, in order to win the car he had to have very good attendance and that's something that BISD always promotes. If the students are in class, we can help them. And we want to send that message to our community as well, uh, parents and students alike, that everybody has the opportunity. Thanks to Cardenas, thanks to BISD, 
to win a car if they are if they do their part in attendance and they uh, participate in class every day. Thank you.